One of the biggest concerns for aircraft carriers is the risk of people or planes falling overboard. This ship has more than 6,000 sailors on board, nearly 100 fighter jets worth over $30 million each, and many luxury amenities you'd find in a city. It weighs more than 100,000 tons and is over 1,000 feet long. On July 8, 2022, a fighter jet flew off the deck of the mighty USS Harry S. Truman due to unexpectedly violent weather in the Mediterranean Sea. This shocking incident raised suspicion as to how the events took place, considering the capability of the aircraft carrier to withstand harsh weather conditions. How did this happen, and what happens when an aircraft carrier runs into a heavy storm? How does such a massive ship manage to stay level and prevent millions of dollars worth of aircraft from drowning into the deep ocean? With their massive size and weight, aircraft carriers have a natural stability that makes them unlikely to tip over easily. However, even with their massive dimensions, aircraft carriers can still be affected by the ocean's natural movements. The most significant threat to an aircraft carrier is actually not the ship itself, but what's on the ship, and of course, thousands of crew members. In addition to this, aircraft carriers need to maintain a relatively stable platform to launch and recover aircraft. Otherwise, it would be quite difficult for the pilots and crew members on board to perform their duties in a safe manner. Speaking of safety, it goes without saying that nothing is more important than safety of the 6,000 sailors on board an aircraft carrier. An unstable ship would naturally put their lives at risk as it would cause cargo and equipment to shift around, not only damaging ship's equipment, but also leading to injuries or accidents. On top of all this, it would also make it tough to carry out mission objectives while out in the ocean. Imagine not being able to fly off the aircraft carrier in your F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter jet to protect yourself and your crewmates just because the ship was unstable. Not an ideal situation, right? Remember that the flight deck is basically the heart of the ship, and everything landing or taking off is a nail-biting moment. In essence, the ship's stability could mean the difference between life and death. Luckily, the size and weight of an aircraft carrier are not the only layers of protection against the rough and unforgiving ocean. When it comes to designing a massive aircraft carrier that can withstand the unpredictable seas, nothing is left to chance. The US Navy uses a powerful computerized simulation tool that allows them to test and optimize the stability of their ships long before they even hit the waters. Through seakeeping simulation, the Navy evaluates how the ship performs in various sea conditions, whether it be calm waters or rough tides. Once a design is finalized, testing and validation are conducted to ensure the ship performs as expected in actual sea conditions. Computer simulations are a critical tool in the design and optimization of U.S. Navy aircraft carriers since they enable them to create ships that are not only powerful and technologically advanced, but also safe for their sailors. In addition to this, the U.S. Navy has developed various systems to keep the ship as steady as humanly possible once it's actually out in the ocean. One of these crucial characteristics is known as the ballast. Now, even though it may sound complex, it really isn't much more than following the basic laws of physics. The ballast is essentially additional weight added to the ship's hull, which is the main body, by pumping water into its tanks, which results in a gradual increase of the ship's center of gravity. And get this, the lead ship of the US Navy aircraft carriers, the USS Gerald R. Ford, has not one, not two, but four ballast tanks capable of holding a whopping 7 million gallons of water each. These ballast systems are highly automated and can adjust the ship's stability in real time, compensating for the changes in waves and wind. Moreover, anchors are often used to keep the ship in place and prevent it from drifting around in high winds or rough seas. Each aircraft carrier, is typically equipped with multiple anchors which can be lowered all the way to the seabed when the need arises. Consider it a way to keep the ship stationary in the middle of the ocean. And guess what? The ship's hull itself is specially crafted to keep things steady while out in the ocean. In fact, the hull is strategically shaped like a V, allowing it to literally cut through the waves instead of gliding over them. This clever design helps to reduce the rolling motion of the ship 
and ensures a stable course of travel even through the roughest of seas. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been on a U.S. Navy ship during the rough seas? What was it like? And did you notice any techniques being used to maintain stability? Let us know in the comments. Regardless, the U.S. Navy leaves no stone unturned in its endeavor to closely monitor weather patterns and sea conditions as it plays a vital role in keeping the aircraft carriers at level. By paying close attention to the weather and sea conditions, they buy themselves time to prepare in advance to keep things steady when the sea gets rough. Plus, with the help of advanced technologies, such as weather radar and satellite imagery, they identify potential trouble before it even occurs. They then take action by moving water into the special tanks, as mentioned earlier, and control the engines by making them go faster or slower to escape the turbulent waves. But it's not just about escaping the waves. The U.S. Navy's aircraft carriers also have powerful steering mechanisms, like rudders and propellers, that provide them with the ability to strategically maneuver through the waters and maintain a horizontal path. The control of these mechanisms by skilled crew members on board ensures that the ship stays on its intended path, navigating through the waves smoothly, all while preventing anything from going wrong. Maintenance and Inspections Speaking of prevention, the U.S. Navy actively maintains and inspects all of its ships to ensure that everything remains in top condition at all times. After all, there's no room for error out in the ocean, right? As one may expect, this is a massive undertaking that requires a highly skilled and dedicated team of sailors and engineers who can handle cleaning, painting, repairing, and upgrading aircraft carriers on a regular basis. In general, such maintenance tasks are divided into different categories, including preventative maintenance, corrective maintenance, and overhaul maintenance. Preventative maintenance is pretty self-explanatory. It's performed on a regular schedule to prevent problems from occurring in the first place. This typically includes tasks like replacing filters, lubricating machinery, and inspecting equipment for wear and tear. Meanwhile, corrective maintenance involves fixing problems as they arise. For instance, if one of the gyroscopic stabilizers suffers from a malfunction, engineers on board would promptly diagnose and repair it right away. On the other hand, Overhaul maintenance consists of more extensive repairs or upgrades. To help you understand this, note that the ballast tanks on aircraft carriers can become corroded or damaged over time, or the valves and pumps that control the flow of water may wear out. So in this case, to perform an overhaul, the tanks would need to be emptied, cleaned, and inspected for damage. Any damaged components would then need to be repaired or replaced, and the entire system would ultimately need to be reassembled and tested to ensure that it's good to go. The goal of this overhaul would be to ensure that the ballast tanks are in top condition and able to provide the necessary stability to the aircraft carrier. Tilting in harsh conditions. Despite all of the countless protective and preventative systems put in place in order to stop an aircraft carrier from becoming unstable, it begs the question of whether these ships actually end up tilting or not. Well, the short answer is yes, but it's not as dramatic as you might imagine. In normal operating conditions, aircraft carriers maintain a remarkably stable position and manage to get through turbulences with ease. Although, as we now understand, aircraft carriers are specially designed to remain level. But keep in mind that they can still tilt in extreme weather conditions. For instance, in rough seas, the ship may pitch and roll, causing it to tilt to one side or the other. But this is where the smart gyroscopic stabilizers and huge ballast tanks come into play, ultimately keeping things rather smooth. However, even though it's very rare, things can sometimes go wrong. Take the example of the USS Harry S. Truman incident when a fighter jet flew into the sea. This uncommon instance must make you wonder what precautions are taken to avoid such casualties. Safety. When it comes to aircraft carriers, as discussed earlier, the safety of the crew is the U.S. Navy's top priority. Hence, to prevent these accidents, the U.S. Navy has installed a network of barricades and safety nets that stretch across the flight deck to prevent personnel or aircraft from sliding overboard during landing or takeoff operations. Apart from this, non-slip surfaces and carefully designed walkways minimize the risk of accidents caused by slippery conditions. Also, to provide an extra layer of protection, 
The crew members on board are equipped with safety harnesses that attach to sturdy tie-down points on the flight deck, especially during adverse weather conditions or combat scenarios. These safety measures are in place to mitigate the probability of aircraft or sailors falling overboard. How have you experienced life on a U.S. Navy ship? Have you ever been seasick? Leave your experiences in the comments so that we can share in your adventure. Let us know in the comments below. All in all, when it comes to maintaining its mighty legacy, the U.S. Navy doesn't cut corners. Even though aircraft carriers are some of the most advanced warships in the world, they still face a variety of dangers every time they set sail. From rough seas to enemy attacks, there's no shortage of challenges that these vessels have to overcome. The U.S. Navy, however, isn't ready to settle for less than the best. They're constantly investing in cutting-edge equipment and training to ensure that their aircraft carriers are always ready to face these challenges head-on. If you're fascinated by the incredible power and technology of these warships, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep up to date with the best videos about the U.S. Navy. We appreciate your support and hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss another video. Bye for now.